Hey everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Randy. So today we are going to be watching South Park Compilation. It is the best of Butters. It says Stotch, but I thought, I think his name is Butters Scotch. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't really remember his last name. Um, also, if you like the video, make sure to click like and subscribe. I'm trying to be better about saying that in my videos because like 97% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so it doesn't hurt to ask. Um, also, it's going to be a little see-through for you, actually pretty see-through for you, but you will be able to still see what's going on. I moved the thing around to figure out the perfect level where you can still see it, but it's hopefully not going to set off the YouTube video processor because I get in trouble if I don't do something to it. Um, but without further ado, let's watch compilation Best of Butters. Here we go. My nose is really itchy. Oh, I just pressed the wrong button. That is not at all. I hit the space bar. Apparently that makes the box go away. Well, now I know. Look what I want to do with my teeth. I love I'm so wild. Oh, how can we will? I truly love to brush my teeth. That's good. It's good to brush your teeth, Butters. It's good hygiene. Baby smiles. Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls. He's trying to make Biggie come up. What the oh. fuck is this? I hope that my O wasn't really loud because I was really close to the microphone. That was funny. Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls. What the fuck is this? <laughs> hey! Oh! Butters, we told you to be in bed. What are you doing? You had a nightmare. Turn around and get back in your room right now. But Dad is going to bust a cap in my ass. <laughs> Wait, you want to get shot or you want to be grounded? <laughs> Hold on, let me fix my volume. This one is loud. I keep my volume at the same place all the time, and I have my settings set specifically for that volume. But when I watch a video and it's very loud, then I have to figure out how to readjust it. So that way, if I speak, you can still hear me. Anyway. Biggie Whoa! Smalls, Biggie Smalls, Biggie Smalls. It's all so real! This is amazing! It's like I'm there! I see all our friends at school! Oh, wow! If I hold up my hands, I can see oh. them too! <laughs> it's Whoa! like a VR thing. That's wow, funny. you were right! I can actually feel it! Butters, what the hell are you doing? I feel Stan! He looks totally real! That's awesome, Butters! Keep making oh your way down goodness. the hallway. Your vital signs are looking good. What do you see now? That's terrible. What are you doing, Butters? The school and all the kids. I still. That's so terrible. He's gonna get it because Butters seems to be really gullible. He's gonna tell him to do something terrible. I can't hear any sound except for your voice. Yeah, they haven't worked out the audio yet, but it... You're so fucking stupid. But I'm sure they will soon. Uh, okay, I think I'm done, Eric. I'm feeling kind of dizzy and... Uh... Butters, no! Are you crazy? What, what, what? What did I tell you about removing the headset when you're not back at the access hub? Oh, yeah, then I would spit my neurons and scramble my brains. I forgot! You forgot <laughs> your neurons would be torn apart? Did you also forget that if you die in virtual reality, you die in real life, Butters? I'm sorry! You need to find your way back to my room. Can you do that? Yeah. We only have eight minutes before the battery protocols die, Butters. You have to hurry. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> What if I told you about pissing on the seat? And Clyde's all like, ah, okay, man, fuck, not in front of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen, it was actually really lame. I know, right? Women are just jealous because they have to face outwards to pee and crap. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You're supposed to poop in a toilet facing out? But I thought you sit on the toilet this way. So you have that nice little shelf for your comic book and your chocolate milk? Oh, that's so funny. Well, because then you got the flusher right here. No? Yeah. Oh, geez, I saw that's that on something. I don't remember what it was, but I saw that on some kind of movie or TV show once where someone sat, sat backwards to go to the bathroom uh, on the toilet, and they were pointing out. Maybe it was a comedian or something that you could put your book and stuff there, and I'm like, I mean, I never tried it, but that's an interesting concept to have your... You know, a little shelf for your book or what have you. Hey, fellas. Hey, Kenny. No, gosh darn it. My name's not Kenny. Kenny's dead, and you're old enough to learn to deal with that. Okay, not Kenny. Hey, South Park. <laughs> you can meet Jared in person March 6th at the Kenny McCormick Memorial Town Square. 
That's a terrible idea, considering they're children. Oh boy, Jared's coming to town! Dude, that's today! We gotta get down there! Come on, Not Kenny! Well, no, gosh darn it! My name's Not Not Kenny! Okay, come on, Not <laughs> Not Kenny! Well, I'm getting steamed now! Again! <laughs> Chef, we need butter to gain about 50 pounds fast! 50 pounds? Why? Uh, school project. Well, if you want him to get really fat as fast as possible, one of you will have to marry him. Marry him? He definitely wow. works for every woman I ever met. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I ain't getting married. My parents will ground me. Yeah, none of us want to marry Butters. Well, how come? What's wrong with me? Well, I guess we ought to do this the old-fashioned way. Come on back, children. Uh, I can't eat no more. You have to. Okay. Here, have some more mayonnaise. <laughs> Chef, we need more food. I'm running out, children. <laughs> Damn it, Butters, keep eating or else I'll kick your ass till you're deader than Kenny! Dude, that isn't cool. You shouldn't joke about Kenny being dead. Enough time hasn't passed. So how long until we can joke about it? 22.3 years. That's how long it takes for something tragic to become funny. Ugh, that's a long time to wait. What? Where did he get that, that information? I like this. I like this compilation. This is a really good compilation so far. Kenny, no more! I just keep puking it up! <laughs> then eat your puke! No! Oh, oh, come on, Japanese girls do it! Huh? <laughs> Camp Town ladies sing this song, do da do da. <laughs> Camp Town races five miles long, oh do da day. What oh. the fuck is your problem? Oh, hey Wendy, are you just an asshole? Is that it? Am I just an asshole? Yeah. Well, no, I've got arms and legs, I and everything. Lisa I... Burger asks you out, <laughs> and you call her fat? Do you have any idea how you made her feel? She's a really nice girl. I, I think she's a nice girl too. She's just too big for me. She's a little overweight, but that's pretty normal for a girl in the fourth grade. Well, Kim Kardashian is skinny, and she just had a baby. What? Well, I'm sorry, Wendy, but I have a different standard when it comes to my women. Well, then. I want a woman who takes care of herself. That's not Kim Kardashian, is it? That looks like it would be a poster from, uh... I don't know. Baywatch or something. I don't know. Knows how to look good. Who's got perfect skin and no splotches on her legs and perfect everything. This is a you moron! You ever heard of Photoshop? Kim Kardashian is a short, overweight woman who manipulates her image and makes average girls feel horrible about themselves. You're a liar! Look it up, <laughs> stupid! In real life, Kim Kardashian has the body of a hobbit. It's terrible. You're gonna be in real trouble when the teachers find out what you said to that poor girl. <laughs> Uh, take a seat, Wendy. I guess some mean things were said, and I need to get to the bottom of it. I bet Butters told oh, on her. Lisa Burger told on you? Good. Uh, no. no, Wendy. Apparently, you called Butters' girlfriend a hobbit. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. The tables get turned. <laughs> Are you serious? You did. You said Kim is short, fat, and hairy with big feet, and she's a hobbit. That's not his girlfriend. It's Kim Kardashian. Uh, but, but, Wendy, Kim Kardashian is considered to be extremely beautiful, okay? Right, but she's not in real life. She's a hobbit. Oh, she said it again! Actually has two girls now. One is three and the other's about little Butter's age, I think. Well, speak of the devil! Butter's, what happened to your eye? Grandma, c can I talk to you for a second? Well, sure. You come and sit right here next to Grammy. Could I maybe talk Granny. to Granny alone? Well, sure, I guess. We'll go make some tea. Oh, Grammy some has tea my grandmother's hair. What's up? Huh? You think you're tough, huh? I just don't want you to pick on me no more, Grandma. Think you're fucking tough, huh? <laughs> what is wrong with his grandmother? Look fucking tough. I don't, I don't think trying to toughen him thing. up? No, you're a little faggot. You got any more money, huh? No, you took it all. Why don't you do something about it? Do something, you little bitch. Your grandma's bitch. Here we go. Oh, there's the tea. Tea for me, how lucky. Heavens to Betsy. I think Grandma has a personality disorder. Linda, this is such a yummy, yummy ham. I just love your cooking. <laughs> Our Linda certainly does know her way around a pork. <laughs> What's the matter, Butters? Nothing, Dad. Just a little gassy. <laughs> oh. oh, well, don't fart on Grandma. She's trying to enjoy her ham. Okay, Dad, I won't... <laughs> I'll get it. Linda, is that a new clock on the wall? This grandmother is disturbing me probably more than she should. But goodness gracious. 
Like, I have to applaud the South Park writers for their creativity because they come up with some things that you just don't see coming, you know? Uh, but this is interesting. Oh, yes. Stephen and I got that last month. It's from Germany, I believe. I just love the cute little canary on the dial. And every hour it chimes. Your friends wanted to see you, Butters. Dude, if Butters, you didn't see that grandma awesome just news. A Hollywood put movie a company is going to buy our bullying video. Oh, an anti bullying video? How adorable. Yeah, and Butters is the star. The movie company wants to do a photo shoot with him so we can make movie posters. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Stotch. Yes, what is it, officer? You better come quick. Your son is down at the Bowery Building threatening to kill himself. What? Oh. Things just got serious. Don't do it, son! You have too much to live for! Oh my god, Butters! Just keep stalling, Butters. We don't have the dead pig quite ready yet. They've got a dead pig. Are they trying to fake his death so the grandmother leaves him alone? That 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 seems extensive, but maybe it will work. Who knows? I just realized I'm not even halfway through this video. I need to stop pausing. Butters! Butters, whatever is troubling you, this isn't the answer! Look at all these people who've come out for you! Just come down now, son, and we promise we won't ground you for more than a couple weeks. Oh, jeez. Now I'm gonna get grounded, too. Okay, Drake, <laughs> get down, Butters. He, he's coming down! Oh, thank God! No, wait, what, what's he doing? Okay, one, two... Jesus Christ! Didn't make it. No! Really? No! My son is dead! No! Yes. Children. Obviously, eventually they would figure out that it was a pig and not him. But that has to be for the grandmother. I don't know why else they would fake his death. Please say hello to Marjorie. Marjorie? Oh, uh, hello. She likes bows. Welcome to our school, Marjorie. Oh, thank you. Dude, I think it's totally working. The girls... Oh, that's Butters, isn't it? They're totally banging. <coughs> Why don't you tell the children a little about yourself, Marjorie? Well, I'm just a typical little girl. I like dancing and, and ponies and, and getting my snooch pounded on Friday nights. Nice. Now, Marjorie, that's not very ladylike. Us Colorado girls love to get pounded in the sniz just like any woman, but we keep it to ourselves. Oh. That girl sure has a strange sense of fashion. Dude, they totally think he's a girl. <laughs> All right, have a seat, Marjorie, and I'm sure the other girls will be happy to show you around the school, won't you, girls? Where do you buy your clothes? Marjorie, sweetie, your mom's on the phone. <laughs> My mom? Hello? Butters, just what the fuck do you think you're doing? Well, I'm just having some fun with my girlfriends. You aren't there to have fun, you black asshole. You're supposed to be getting the future telling device. Well, I'm working on it. Working on what, your dance moves? Now look, I'm getting pretty sick of this. Well, I put myself through a lot, and you can't talk to me like that. Uh, Mom? Just do what you were sent in there to do, dickface. He said the future telling device? So they went through the trouble of making him into a girl to get something from another girl's house? It's like, yeah, extensive, but I mean, if it works... Hey, fellas! Fellas, do you like getting kisses? Because I know a girl that'll give you a great kiss for just five dollars! She'll kiss anybody? Sure, Scott, even if you got diabetes! Wow, it's almost like having someone care about you. Jeez, Butters, thanks for bringing me yet another customer. Here's your two-dollar cut again. Boy, oh boy, this sure is great. I've been thinking, Sally, I could probably drum up some third-grade customers if you could do kisses before school, too. We could make double the money. Oh, that'd be great. But I can't do kisses before school. I have swimming class. Ah, oh, nuts. 
Well, I did have another idea. What if we got another girl to fill in for you sometimes? What? Well, you know, we bring someone on, show her what to do, and then share all our money together. I think this is from one of the earlier seasons. If you haven't watched my other reactions, I had seen some of the old seasons. I worked at a movie rental store in 2006, you know, where you would go in and pay money to take a movie home for a day, five days, whatever the movie. Um, anyway, we the, the, at that rental store, they had some of the South Park episodes, like the DVDs of the seasons, like season one the DVDs individually and I had taken a few home and watched them but I don't think it was complete and back in 2006 I did a I just <clears throat> we'll just say I didn't have the best memory during that year so I don't really remember much but I feel like I know what this one is I feel like this is when Butters starts pimping girls out and has a bottom you know I don't remember exactly like the scene or anything but I remember just the idea of him becoming a pimp somehow and having a bottom B. We'll just leave it at that. Wow, you're right, Butters. I should start expanding. We could have our very own kissing company. <laughs> there you are, Butters. Hey, Dad. Butters, we heard a rumor that you might have a little girlfriend, Sally Darson. Oh, hell, Dad. I got lots of girlfriends. Sally's just my bottom bitch. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay. You know what I am saying? <laughs> no. <laughs> boy, oh boy, really great work, bitches. You all sold lots oh, of kisses goodness. today. Except for you, Megan. I'm afraid you get a Stormy Cloud sticker today. So wait, you're keeping all the money now? I just hold on to all the money, because bitches can't be trusted with it. We pull all the kissing money together, see? But if you want to buy anything, you just talk to the bottom bitch, and then the bottom bitch talks to me. All right, see you after school. Do you know what I am saying? So he's keeping all the money? They're all doing the kissing, and it's not him taking two dollars and then keeping three dollars. Again, like taking this forty percent tax, more or less, for being management. Um, anyway, that made me think of something. But he's not giving them their cut anymore. He's holding on to it, and they have to ask to get money to buy something. Is that what's is that what's going on? Am I understanding that right? Hey, Wendy. Wendy. Bitch, don't you want to start making some real fucking money? Leave me alone. Well, you were made for the playground, bitch. You should be out there walking. Don't you want a new lunchbox? Nice new coat? I can get all that for you, bitch. Butters, dude. What? You can't call my girlfriend a bitch. Yeah. Oh. Well, all I'm saying, the bitch should be out there walking is all. What you doing, bitch? Just giving kisses to Stan for free? You should be making some motherfucking money. Stan? Yeah. Butters, seriously, if you don't stop this, I'll kick your ass. Yeah. Crap, here's a hundred bucks. If Stan comes near me, punch him. Wow, we. Wow. Dude, we've created a monster. That's the money he got from those girls, so he just hands over their money. <laughs> Fellas! Fellas! <laughs> what? <laughs> You'll never guess what happened. Butters just beat up Scott Malkinson. Butters? Why? It was crazy. Scott was just talking about how he needed to take his insulin shot, and out of nowhere, Butters said he's sick of people with diabetes feeling sorry for themselves. Scott told Butters to shut up, and Butters just started wailing on him. Wow. You're talking about Butters. Dude, I'm telling you, Butters beat the crap out of Scott, and then he locked himself in the bathroom. Butters? Leave me alone. Butters, come out here. Get out of here, all of you. Butters, people can't just go around beating up people who have diabetes. Now, whatever your problem yeah. is, you just, you just think you know everything, don't you, cop? Every little thing, you gotta shoot your mouth off like you're the freaking expert. Well, you don't know everything because your best friend is a kid who thinks the entire planet revolves around him and he only cares about his image. You guys think Cartman is the only selfish piece of crap at this school? You're all fake and stuck up and none of you have the courage to tell Jimmy that his jokes aren't funny. The only kid here with any sense of dignity is Kenny and the rest of you have your heads up your butts. <laughs> He's having a bad day, isn't he? Goodness gracious. Well, apparently Kenny is Butter's best friend. You guys gonna make out, Kenny? And that's another thing! You're always trivializing everything I say about getting the last word! Well, you're not getting the last word this time! Wow. Double well! Stop ruining our island, Howlies! Fire! Oh, that would suck. Cool. What are they doing? 
Take a swing. Let them know they are not welcome. I've never done this before. It's all right. Just try to tap into that anger that's inside you. My anger. My anger. Stupid. Ben Affleck. <laughs> in the half like a titanic. <laughs> wow. That What's this all about, Eric? Butters, can you keep a secret? Well, sure I can. For the past five days, I've been looking out into space for a school project. This morning at 3.45 a.m., I caught first sight of something terrible. How terrible? A meteor. A meteor the size of Wyoming. Heading right for Earth. No what? way. Now look, I could be wrong. Playing into that gullible nature of Butters again. That cruise ship thing was hilarious. Well, I thought so. Oh, wait, wait. A meteor the size of Wyoming heading right for Earth. What? Now look, I could be wrong. I pray that I'm wrong, but I just want you to take a look and see what you think. Do you see anything? I just see stars. Keep looking. Sometimes it takes your eyes a minute to adjust. Oh, man. No, nope, I don't see it. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I see it. I see it. It's a meteor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Does it look like it's getting closer? It is. It is getting closer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That meteor is the size of Wyoming and it's on a collision course for Earth. When do you think it'll get here? I, I don't know. I have to do some calculations. 10 to the power of one based man divided by pet. He's going to believe a fourth grader doing calculations on when a meteor's going to hit Earth. Okay, let's go with it. Plus 5 minus 3. Oh, Jesus. What? According to my calculations, that meteor's going to hit Earth in less than four hours. Oh, you mean we're going to die? No, no, Butters, we are going to live. Do you hear me? We are going to live. We just, we've got to find a bomb shelter. Uh, where is there a bomb shelter? Stan's Uncle Jimbo. He has a bomb shelter in his backyard. Come on, Butters, hurry. <laughs> We should be safe in here. There's dried food and water to last us for weeks. But what about everyone else? I have to tell my parents so they can come here too. No, Hunter. I can't let you risk it. I'll go up and get the others. Are you sure? I'm not sure of anything anymore. Is he gonna leave him down there? Now, Butters, listen. No matter what happens, no matter what you hear, do not come out. If I don't make it back in time with the others, then it will be up to you to repopulate the Earth. But I'm the only one down here. What am I supposed to repopulate with? <laughs> well, you know, with your wiener. Just stay down here until you hear word from me. And pray, Butters. Pray for all mankind. That's Hello? a dirty joke. Ah! Who are you? Are you infected? With what? You're not a cannibal, are you? No. Oh. Oh, good. You're a survivor like me. Look, Mr. Dog, another survivor. And it's a lady, too. That means we can repopulate the Earth. Yippee! <laughs> Kid, what are you doing? Obviously, this is from the same episode, and somehow he came out of there, and I guess Cartman had made a big mess or something, so he thinks he's the only person on Earth that's funny. Here? I'm rebuilding society. Here, take a look. This is the library, and over here is the bank. Aww. That over there I'm thinking of making into a P.F. Changer, a bit again. And this is a memorial to Eric Cartman, the person who gave his life so that I could rebuild society. Well, ma'am, I guess we should start repopulating the Earth, huh? Wow. I'm ready whenever you are. Kid, I don't know what you think is going on, but this place is a dump. Hey, that's not very nice. This is my first society. I'm doing my best. No, I mean you're at the garbage dump. Town is right over there, everybody is fine, and I think they've been looking for you for over a week. That would suck. Uh. <laughs> Ma'am, can I use your phone? Oh, oh, it makes my heart sad for Butters. That was entertaining. Uh, the last South Park reaction I had done, I had asked what would be a good one to check out next, and a couple of you said Butters, best of Butters, and I'm really glad you did. That was a lot of fun. I feel, I, I don't know, I got to laugh, and I just... Watching that was just perfect. It was just very good 
choice slash selection or whatever for this evening. So thank you very much for the recommendation. Thanks for watching with me. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.